Hi there everybody, hope everyone's keeping really really well and having a glorious day like this one today. Now in this video I'm going to show you how you can pot up a very large cactus cutting. Now what happened with this big boy here, as you can see this is three foot long, this Pilocereus cactus and in the spring of this year, 2013, we had a very very cold prolonged spell, it was very bitterly cold and I noticed that at the bottom of this plant, it was potted up, it was starting to go a bit brown. So I got it out of its pot and the dreaded thing, it had rotted. So I had to do a bit of an operation on it. I had to take a large cut, a, cut all the rot away, a good a inch above the rot, so it was completely clean tissue. Then I used yellow sulfur powder, um, covered it in yellow sulfur powder to stop any bacteria and any rot forming. And then left it to callus in, under the bench in my greenhouse for the past five months and as you can see it's formed a really a really hard callus a really thick skin on it so now it's ready to pot up so what the difficult thing obviously with a very very heavy cutting a small cactus cutting once it's formed a callus at the bottom can go straight into cactus compost and then obviously you leave it dry for a number of weeks and then start giving it a tiny bit of water and then you start to notice a bit of new growth on the top but in this case because this cactus is so large and it's very heavy if i was to put this straight into a pot obviously you have to keep it into a shallow pot because it's got no roots the weight of it is going to topple straight over so what we're doing in this case is because of the weight of the plant we've got a really big heavy crock pot which is weighted and inside this heavy pot I've put another plastic pot in here and I've filled it up a quarter, just over a quarter of the way with very, very gritty and sandy cactus compost. And I've used two parts grit to two parts horticultural sand to one part Johnnings, even number, number two or three. And all I'm going to be doing is putting, because obviously this plant has got no roots, and the whole purpose of this is to actually get the plant to re-root itself. I don't need to put it loads of soil or pot it halfway up. That's where the roots are actually going to come out at the bottom here, and possibly around the side. So I only really need to put in a little small amount of compost, so I'm not going to go any further up than here, about two inches. And then I'm going to, once I put it into there, I'm going to make sure it's secure. Obviously, we've got these, we did try using bamboo, but the bamboo, because the plant is so heavy, the bamboo won't work. So if you've got any pieces of wood like this, then cut it up equal into four parts here. Put it into, to keep the pot, this will keep the pot secure. So otherwise, if I put this just into this pot, it would have just wobbled out of it. And there's no way that can budge at all. As you can see, that's secured in there. Now, what I'm going to do now is pick this cactus up and I'm going to very gently put it into this soil here. Now, in this case, this cactus isn't too spiny, but obviously if you had a very spiny one, I'd advise probably using a bit of cardboard underneath good gloves as well to lift it up. But in this case, this isn't too spiny and I've got very good gloves. So just gently lift it up like so, like that. And then I'm going to gently place it into the center of the soil. Again, very, very gritty compost here. Now, there you go. Now what I'm going to do is then put the soil around it here, up to about there. Now, once you've got the cactus in the center, before I actually start filling up the compost around it, I'm going to give it a little turn, like so. Put a turn there. That's it. Turn it in, and then make sure it's all equal around, and then start putting in the compost. Remember, with using a cutting to make sure, and like normal cactus compost, where it's normally one part of each, I would use. In this case, with a cutting, because you want the sand to be very gritty and sandy. Two parts sand, uh, horticultural sand. Two parts grit and just one part of Johnny's number two to three and then make sure you completely go around all the sides equally again you don't need to put too much compost into a cutting because it hasn't got any roots and you literally just need enough to support the plant and to encourage it to send out roots Thank you. 
Now, once you've got the plant in and it's centralised, you've got the soil around it, use a piece of wood like this, or anything that you can push in the soil around. Go around the, the whole of the pot, making sure that the soil is pushed in tightly and snugly around the plant, like so. Now, once it's secure in its pot, the next stage is to put the trine around the plant. Now what we've done here is actually put a staple into the wood and attach the twine to it which keeps it easier to keep it secure and then go it around like so, just wrap around the twine a couple of times, give it its support like that and then do then is tie that into a knot there to secure that. Now that's the first two posts done, now it's these second posts so again the same thing again Tying it round. Making sure it's tight against the posts. Like so. There you go. Then you carry on all the way around again and then tying a knot in it again there. Now I've gone around the plant now, making sure it's all secure. That, doo -doo -doo -doo, no way is that going to fall out of its pot. And I've just been going around here as well, as you can see around there. This gives a bit of extra, extra security around here. There's no way this plant is going to wobble at all. And then I'm going to carry on tying that. So there you go. That's the plant. Oh, there's a wasp. <laughs> there you go. That's the plant all done, the cutting. Now, a little bit of... Ah. <laughs> it's gone. Anyway, a little bit of advice with the cutting. Now, if you have a small little cutting cactus, um, again, wait a number of days, a couple of weeks before starting to water it again. But in this case, if you have a large cutting like this one here, and especially because it's actually, it's September here in Ireland, so everything is starting, coming to the end in, in towards the rest period now with the cacti. So I won't be watering this plant at all now until probably the middle of March, the end of March next year, 2014. So I'm going to keep this completely dry in the conservatory in a warm spot and it will overwinter and it should start to form roots in the early spring next year. So there you go, remember not to water your cactus um, after you've repotted it anyway, but especially more so a cutting. And you can usually see when a cutting has taken root because in my experience in the past, it usually has a bit of new growth forming on the top. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you found it very informative and hopefully you won't have to do too many cuttings in emergencies like this one, it'd be cuttings for propagation instead. So until the next video, I want to give this opportunity to send you loads of love and happiness from beautiful Ireland and until the next video, 